And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board American Airlines Flight 1691. We are in a 737 simulator cockpit right now on the ground at the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. We're going to be flying down to the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport today. Hour and a half flight time, cruising flight level 290. I'm flying with Fabian here in the right seat. Hey, guys. Um, we're going to be doing a shared cockpit flight with full ATC, uh, approach tower, ground, center, pretty much everyone in Chicago. So a lot of ATC and other traffic on the way out. But yeah, we're just about set to go. Our flight plan is already filed. We are connected to the VATSIM network, so we're going to call up for clearance here in just a minute, and we'll be on our way. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, but well, we'll oh, nice little sequence out there on approach. Yeah, just Getting like real realistic up in here, dude. The uh, taxing traffic with the land. Traffic have line. you under the tower 2075? I feel like David at the dentist. Is this real life? <laughs> Take off, CG, five degrees of flaps, enter V-speed. So we're going to be, if you want to put in 154 into our speed right there. I will do that. And you can turn your flight director on. Okay. And I got mine, you got the master. And I'm just going to do sim magic over here. And uh, we love sim magic. I'll just go through the before start checklist, make sure you're all good, and then we'll call ground, get clearance, and then we'll can start doing our start. Sounds good. All right, park and brake. So that's right here. That's set. Oxygen is checked, so it's gonna that checked on my side. If you want to push it, it's the striped button on the left side of that red thing. I got oxygen. Nav displays are normal and auto. Terrain display is selected, so I'm just gonna press terrain. You can select it on yours as well. Display is checked. All good. Auto brake is on RTO. Departure briefing is completed. Fasten seatbelts. We'll leave those off for now. AP, so we got 314, full short of Victor, ready for departure. And we got 314, monitor the tower. Rise up. All right, there it goes. Nice. Don't want to hear that classic APU hum in the background. There you go. Ooh, and then you nice. can turn on the left side as well. Perfect. So usually what the captain would do is he would press down the fasten seatbelt sign and okay. then I would go through my flow. So if you want to go ahead and do your fasten seatbelt light. I'd love to do that. Oh my god, I never put this thing off. <laughs> I had one job to do. <laughs> so propies on, hydro pumps are on, and anti-collision light is on. Alright, so now we're all ready to start. So Sweet. We'll go ahead and call for pushback and then get going. Sounds good. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I would love to actually. O'Hare Ground American 1691, IFR to Atlanta with Echo. American 1691, can you accept the route uh, that you were going? Yes, we can, 1691. Right. Expect PDC. We'll expect PDC, 1691. Dang, okay, so no verbal read back today. Yep. We're getting the automated read back. We'll get some more verbal exchange once we call it for taxi. Okay, and we have our PDC. From O'Hare Ground, we're just about to do start and push back, and then we're going to call ground once we're ready for taxi. Expecting what runway was it? Two seven. Uh, they said either two two left or two eight right. Two eight right. Roger that. Ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and push back. Ground, go ahead. Requesting push back. Pushing back. This is the trippy part where it's like you actually get the feel. Yeah. Moving. This is where people who can't handle motion sickness just vomit all over their yeah. lap. Alright, if you want to turn on all our fuel pumps over there. Alright. All four same time? Yep. I'm watching N2 rise up. And once that reaches 25, if you want to go ahead and you can pull out number two and lift it all the way up. Okay. There's 25. Alright, we're gonna get set. Okay, the towing system is moved. Please wait for my hand signal on your left hand side. See you later, guys. Thanks for the help, Jimmy. 21, 440, and around 61. All good, so we can go put on the buses. So, and we can start number one. So, 22, 12, reduce speed for space. 172, 22, 12. That's a good engine. We can put that one on the buses. Doing good. Yeah, here is up my phone. Flight plan. I just send it to you. 
That's a nice landing right there. Flaps, we'll do flaps five, and we're just gonna watch for our flap indicator to go to five and be green light locked. And last thing, just flight control check. All right. So, left, pull right. Delta 1350, right for pushback. And then you can get the floor. And then we can get a taxi light on. Let me turn off. I'll go ahead and give a call for taxi. Sounds good. Oh, here, Ground American 1691, ready for taxi with Echo. American 1691, runway 22 left, taxi via left alpha, alpha 18, Victor. 22 left via left alpha, alpha 18, Victor, American 1691. Okay, release parking brake? Yep. Parking brake is released. Here we go. And your ground speed is right there on the top left of your gotcha. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna just turn on these so you can see a little bit better. American 2292, hold short of Alpha. Hold short of Alpha, American 2292. Right, American that probably holding short of us. I think he yep. gave that call. American 2292, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 2292. Oh, there's that A350 that's falling apart over there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Same airline and everything. Literally. <laughs> B350 uh, composite uh, issues, look it up. Yeah, pretty nasty stuff. ACM bleeds are auto and American 1691, contact Tower 120.75, good night. Tower 12075, American 1691, good night. Okay, before takeoff checks are complete. Yep, and then MCP runway is set, PA completed. And you can go ahead and just... Two two left, take off. Two two left, American sixteen ninety one. Two two zero. All right. Ending lights on. There we go. Okay, two two left, verified. Verified. All right. And then your choga button's gonna be that one right there. All right, here we go. Yeah, the 470 heavy crosswise, right angle, right, 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 There we go. Pause right. Gear up, please. Gear coming up. Yeah, the force of the heavy cross one to it. I don't know. Full throttle. Open the lever. Contact ground. Fuck out of this. If you can pick up the uh, ATC. 1970 cross one to it. Right in contact ground. Yep. I got you. Thank you. American 1691. Contact departure 125.0. Good flight. Over to departure 125.0. Good night. Hell yeah, dude. Chicago departure, American 1691, 3,500. American 1691, Chicago departure, radar contact, climb maintain 15,000. Up to 15,000, American 1691. And we'll go flaps up. All right, and after takeoff flaps are American 1691, clear direct Kamitsky. Clear direct Kamitsky. I'll move on. American 1691, contact Chicago Center on 120.35, see it. Over to 120.35, connect. Chicago Center, good evening, American 1691, 8500. American 1691, Chicago Center, resume level speed, ground level 2900. Up to flight level 2900, and resume over speed, American 1691. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Yep. And then we can get the attack the parking by Alpha. I love it. Yeah, this is real as shit, dude. Most realistic kind of flight of the Chicago Center, yeah, I have it. Alright, so that was uh, climbing through flight level 180, just reset altimeter, 299 or 2. Climbing uh, 260 knots right now. Smooth air here out of Chicago. And all the stars out here right now, man. Yeah. I was having fun one night. I just spawned it up at like 100,000 feet. <laughs> you just see stars and nothing. Low Earth orbiter, get the fuck out. Yeah.
All right, for everyone watching, we just reached uh, cruising altitude, flight level 290. or zero. Autopilot is turned on. Move in at 0.7, coming up on 0.75 Mach right now. Uh, oh, can I go and turn off the fast seatbelt sign? If you go on, then off, yeah. Nice. Okay, fast seatbelt sign has just been turned off, so passengers can now move about the cabin. We're still with Chicago Center. I believe, uh, I think it's Memphis Center, I think it's in between. They were yeah. offline last I checked, so we might have uh, a little bit of Unicom time on our way down there. And then Atlanta is staffed, so we'll have some ATC on the arrival as well. Three, now, that is it. Three, zero, zero, on the four. arrival. American 1691, you lose my airspace frequency change of cruise, have you made? Have a good night, thank you. I would totally have not have heard him. Glad to pick Walker, fourteen eleven. Have you ever heard the like the the stuff about water on airplanes? How you should always get it bottled instead of like from the the jug? Oh no, why? Because where the water containment places are, they're like supposedly next to the fuel tanks, and they just don't clean them apparently. Like if you have a tea kettle at home, and sometimes it gets the the iron, the lime at the bottom. Yeah. After like a year. Yeah. What what would a plane get? If it's an airline that only has the Dasani bottled waters, I'll be honest, I might take the jet fuel water instead. Sometimes jet a good good addition in the coffee in the morning. God, I wonder what's in the McDonald's Sprite. Oh, that's the real question. Just crack. <laughs> Twenty-five, it's two, three, seven. Yeah, I'm going to the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. We're off 29,000 feet on our way down to Atlanta right now. Seatbelt sign has been turned off at this time. Uh, Advisory to all passengers on board, yeah. please do not drink the water that you're serving to you in a cup. Please request a water bottle, it is for your... When you get the chance, not, I repeat, please do not drink the water that is served to you in a cup or request a water bottle. Pretty damn gusty. Be on the ground in about 45 Yeah, that's a good one. 1691, you can cross Chippa, how to maintain. One four thousand. Hey, let off the retreat. Zero zero two. Crash over at one four thousand. And what was the last part? They let off the retreat. Zero zero two. Roger. Thank you. Now go and uh, turn fast and seatbelt signs on. Sure. So we just got our first um, altitude restriction on the Chipper uh, 1 arrival, about 70 one, two, seven, miles seven, out from it right now, yeah, so uh, we should be getting descents uh, in the next couple of minutes or so. And we got our top of descent point right there, so we can still, if need be, fly by hand down. So 2212, reduce speed, Mach 0.72 for space. 0.72 Delta 2212. Okay, well, two, four, zero, zero, is blurred. Landing data is prepared. Terrain data is AC selected. 56, eight, nine, and send and maintain, uh, 4, Sounds like everyone's using 27 left, so I just put the frequency in there. Oh, geez. Roger that. Well, uh, nothing to worry about. Minor overspeed indication right now. There we go. You heard nothing. Never made the cut. American 1691, ILS 26, right approach. Okay, second 26, right approach. American 1691. I'll get the uh, ATC for you until we switch flight controls. All right, sounds good. And it looks like we've got the field just off to our about 10 o'clock right now. Descending through 10,000 feet. And coming up on 10, I'll go and uh, turn landing lights on. Sure. American 1691, change runway, ILS runway 27 left approach, refine the south transition. ILS 27 left for American 1691. American 1691, send maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, American 1691. Alright, and as you uh, navigate us, I'll run through a quick before landing checklist. Approach brief, pretty much complete. ILS 27 left. Got everything. FMC is all set with uh, waypoints and frequencies. Yep. PA completed. Passengers, uh, please be seated for landing. Sit your asses down. Uh, auto brakes. We'll set. You want three? Uh, two is fine. Two, two, two on auto brake. HUD, non-existent. Speed brakes. Uh, you want to arm those now? Yep. So that little pin just goes in that little divot right there. Uh, like oh, right if there. Or, if, okay. And speed brake armed. Um, gear will go down once we have landing clearance and then flaps as well as we come in. You call flaps for now. I guess maybe like kind of turning base on the ILS. Do you want to transfer flight control? Sure. Okay, cool. All right, so approach checklist complete. Perfect. If you want, you can go flaps one. All right, flaps one. American 1691, 3,000. Down to 3,000, American 1691. 
1691 turn left heading 340. Left at 340, American 1691. 2615, American 1598, thanks. 340 heading? Vertigo 1691, it's going to be 5 miles. Correction 7 miles from Mama, post 6. Turn left heading 300, maintain 3 down to establish clear eye left to uh, establish flight controls. My flight controls. Your flight controls. Uh, left at 300, maintain 3000 to establish clear eye left 27 left, American 1691. And we are uh, full manual right now, correct? Yep. Okay, cool. And just let me know about flaps. Okay, okay, going to be uh, flaps 5. Flaps 5. And run on site. 11 o'clock. Okay, yep, got it. And also, 27 left is the center of the left side, correct? Or is it the far left? Uh, it's the center. 1691, wind 330011, runway 27 left, good luck. Clear to land, runway 27 left, American 1691. Take a look at a frequency at Lenox Center. But yes, it is the center of the center left. Center left side. Yep, gotcha. Uh, let's go flaps 15, please. Flaps 15. And we'll go, let's go gear down, please. Gear coming down. Down three green on the gear. Watch back. Go flaps 20. Keep in mind, we also have a 22 knot crossman from the right. Holy so shit. So it's just gonna throw everything off. Yes, we do. Good call. And landing speed is 147. Roger that. Go flaps 30, please. Flaps 30. Before landing speed break. Crew wind 3100, just speed 2109, 10 maintain 4000. Before landing check, let's go. Pulling back to 10 and not 4000, spur external launchers. 60 wind, 330, 11, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, good land, 2, 6, right, for American 6160. Ah, this is feeling pretty good right now. Yep. Yeah. American 18, 55, Atlanta Center, you got your ready contact out of 1, 1,200. Left 340, spring 100. Out of 1695, city main, say 9,000. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. And straight across here? Uh, yeah, just off that way, and, and then, then we can right. indicate, yep. And I'd like to say this is probably the best vectoring final I've ever received on Batson, and that's coming from a real world pilot. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. I'd like to try and do it good myself, maybe. Now, which one should we take? Any meeting mining won't catch a tiger by its tail. Uh, that one. <laughs> this one right here? Yeah. Gotcha. Tango 6? Yeah. Yeah. Tango 6. Atlanta Center, Delta 1324, radio check. Oh, uh, we have no marshaller. Just pull out straight into the center. Uh, oh, I do actually. Alright. Atlanta Center, are you, you guys are closing up, right? Got a guy coming in, it's gonna be here in about 8 minutes or so. Where's that red light, son? Is it gonna give us the red light? Uh, no, this is enough. This is close enough. Yeah. I, was, I saw yellow, right? I yeah, I saw a yellow blink, but no okay. red. Yeah, I think the red light bulb was out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, taxi lights are off. 1354, read back correct. You can expect from way, uh, good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
at Charlie. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Fox Same truck. to you. Appreciate the assistance. Cost two six left at Charlie, and check for the rest of the Fox truck. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Hell yeah. yeah and we all right, everyone, that's it for this video. We just arrived in Atlanta. Again, uh, big thanks to uh, Fabian and EFS for inviting me out here. It was a pleasure flying it in here to Atlanta from Chicago. Went over really well. Yeah, smooth flight, no problems on the way here. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Air Force Proud 95, and I will see you next time. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Air Force Proud 95 here. Merch is available, airforceproud95.store. If you're interested, check it out. Link in the description. I also want to shout out my new partner, MidwestModelStore.com, for anyone that's interested in collecting. Great selection, great prices, and the guy that runs the show personally handles all deliveries and takes great care in his work. Discount link in the description, code AFP at checkout. That'll be it for me, though. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.